probably shouldn't be holding this and driving, should I? Welcome back to the man and the machine and welcome to my Hawaiian vacation where I decided to rent BMW M4 competition convertible and take it around the island of Oahu and give you a little bit of insight as to whether it's worth it. So let's check this out. I'll be strong I'm finding it hard to resist No woman no cry No woman no cry No woman no cry No woman no cry Necessary, absolutely necessary. It's called a convertible. <laughs> the sun is shining. The roads are smooth so far. <laughs> but we're also in the city, so we have, uh, although automatic capability, we're in sport. Of course, we're going to be in sport. W N4 competition convertible. Convertible, like I said, is a must, especially in Hawaii in the sunny day. But I'm having the most Typical time trying to figure out all the buttons in this damn car. <laughs> but it's fun to figure them out. The, the simplest button that you want is the M mode. You want M mode, right? You want the sport exhaust. But the funniest thing that I just did not like, expect is that you can control the shift timing and the shift speed with this button right here. This button right here controls how quick the shifts are. And I'm like, why don't you always want quick shifts? Don't you want to always have quick shifts? Whenever you have it at the lowest setting, the shifts take forever. Tell me I'm wrong, BMW people. Tell me I'm wrong. Comment below. Cameron just pointed this out to me. Why well, you need a convertible? Look at behind us. Look at the ocean and the mountains and the back rain and the, and the range. And then you see my ugly face. You see Cameron, stud. You know, we're just trying to have a good time here in a convertible. Oh, what is that hike right there? Oh, let's that's do that. That's the road. That's the road. Like, if we're going to work out, we need to go do that. That is a freaking steep hike. Yeah, it's, uh... talked about how the road had some defects and they are repaving the road for all you touristers that are gonna come uh, after me you're gonna have freshly paved roads so you can go faster than I'm going top down mountain time this is kind of beautiful actually the greens do you not think so Cameron look at all that traffic we're missing <laughs> there's a lot of traffic in uh, Oahu Luckily, we're going the right way against traffic. I definitely wanted this drive, actually. Glad we went this way. Kind of feel the turbos kicking in. The turbos feel nice. It's a little, a little lag, tiny bit, but still fun. I'm a fan. No, I'm a fan of every car that has some power. <laughs> but the price, what is this price? 100,000? 100. I don't know, maybe. What else can we buy for 100 grand? For the drop top, 500 horsepower. I'd rather have my ass to for 100 grand. It's a little bit more fun than this. V12? Got to hand it's my Aston. Aston wins over this. Are you kidding me? Pass this. Go back the same way we came. Idiot move. 
I do like uh, that heads up. Can you see that heads up display, audience? Right there? Kind of flickering. But I do like that. It's a nice little addition to uh, me driving and seeing the, the high uh, RPM and the red lines. Did you see that? Oh, I forgot to mention. Look at all the chip and fiber. <laughs> it's everywhere in the M competition. I, well, it's not everywhere. It's like on the steering wheel, but it's like just a little paneling. It's nothing like... Uh, I think it adds more weight than it does take away weight. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all the trim is carbon fiber. Outside of that, I don't know if there's anything else carbon fiber. Oh, the inside. I know the engine. The engine bay has chip and fiber. And the uh, paddle shifts. Fun car. So, long story short, we'll wrap up this video. In Kauai, we did the off-roading in the Jeep. All black, black on black, big tired, uh, four-wheel drive uh, truck, and uh, went up mountains, went through some dirt roads, had uh, quality use of the suspension, and now we came to Oahu and we drove the M4 competition. Sporty, drop top, good weather, fun roads. They both add value to the trip, so highly recommend you guys, if you're taking trips to Hawaii, consider either or. If you're going to go a little bit roughneck and hiking up in the mountains, consider the off-road if you want to just enjoy some sunshine and the, the, the panoramic views that you'll get. We put the top up because it was raining a little bit, but we didn't even hit rain. Convertible. Do it. Power. Do it. Roads are fun. And with that, we're going to close it out. Make sure to smash the subscribe, hit the like, turn on the notifications, and leave a comment. Tell me what you liked about uh, the cars that we drove. We out. Say peace. Racing and life. Anything that happened before or after.